Yeah, son shit, y'all ready? I hope y'all are. This episode, we still, we like, yo, we in education mode. This is about our carrier. I pronounced that all wrong. I've been pronouncing that all wrong while I've been trying to do this, even when we did it live. Alcarian University out there in Morocco. Boom. That's the episode. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about education, man. What y'all know about that? Word up. Anyway, before we even get started, y'all know how we do, man. We just talk a lot of crap before we get into that joint. That's why we time coded these down so y'all know. But I want to say this real quick, too. Um... Spotify, it's like, yo, won't you make some videos, B? And I'm like, ah. Then I started doing some research. Not only did I do some research, I used common sense. You're hearing me. You know what I mean? Like, I watch two joints, to be honest. And I ain't gonna lie, I don't really watch them. I watch at them. I look up, be like, yo, that's what they rock, that's dope, that's cool. And then I go about my bitch. Unless they go, oh, man, look at you, I can't believe then I gotta like stop because these podcasts apparently are now going because we're on camera. We want to point out some visuals. Yeah. But anyway, and that's like uh, Drake Champs. And then it's another joint. The other joint. The Biggie joint. The Biggie joint they had. Uh, Angie Martinez. That was it. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Every other podcast I listen to, I'm listening to it. Even if I listen to it on YouTube. I'm listening to it. I put it on. I go about my business. I'm reading this. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm looking at this. I'm listening. I'm I'm probably playing a game. I'm listening. I'm digging through some music. I'm listening. You know what I mean? But I'm listening. I'm not really trying to watch a podcast. You know what I mean? So I keep getting these things like, yo, why don't you step it up and start doing videos? Like, seeing me would make you make you make it more interesting for you yeah yo there you go that's what he looked like this is what he sound like yo I'm the, nah, man. We good we good i mean i get that on or i get that a lot on instagram i'm going and i see people with their podcasts and even then they it seems so over the top with their actions like they just can't go no nah, that's crazy they gotta go no nah, and get excited and do all these crazy facial expressions and do all this and it's just like, yo, this is wild. This is crazy, dude. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, I guess, right? That's how that that's how that go. I just can't get into it. Crazy part about YouTube, by the way, too, because I'm not one of the people who are buying something from YouTube. I, I refuse to go. I want a free, I want YouTube premium where I don't get commercials. I don't care about the little ads. I don't care about the, like, trailer or the teaser trailer i don't care about the quick little marketing promotion for such and such it's the infomercials that are killing me and i got like i get like four of them there's four infomercials that seem to always pop up for me there's one about a guy who's talking about a podcast it's like and i made my podcast at this coffee shop in the parking lot of dunkin donuts or something and i got this many people all across the world and i do this and i do that and i can show you how to do it too i'm just like yo what? What? Nah, man. Like, and then, like I said, sometimes you just let the joint go and you think it, you know, in two minutes it'll be over. Then you realize, oh my God, this is an infomercial because now they're talking to somebody else who's like, yeah, he helped me out. Now I got this many listeners and this and this and a third. And I'm like, here's the crazy part. While they're saying all that, they never let you know what the podcast is. Go figure. Like I'm, like, I'm seeing this dude's face, and I still don't know what his podcast is. Crazy. Then there's another joint. It's a chick, and she's about trying to do something with grammar, grammar thing of a G. That's a whole long joint. I'm like, yo, what? Then you need to learn how to do your grammar and this and that and the third. I'm like, yo, this is wow. Learn how to spell your stuff in the AI will help you cut it down or put it out and do this do that and third and you're just like yo this is oh my god how did I what I got it and then there's another one about eating healthy these are the joints that these are the like same four that keep popping up on my joint the eat healthy the grammar joint the podcast joint 
And then it's another one about music, music software, which is like, yo, uh, and, but I'm just like, yo, this is wild. How, what is going on here? And what I love about these podcast joints, because even when I was like first thinking about getting into this podcast game, I looked up like, yo, what's, what's the best route? What, to do? what do you do? What do you do? How do you get into this? Like, how do you, you know what I'm saying? And again, salute to, I can't think of her name, but she put me on to Michael Moore. And then Michael Moore was like, yo, I'm here on this joint right here. The Spotify thing, they were Spotify back then, it was Aga. The Spotify thing, and I'm checking out his joint. I'm like, yo, I can do this. I, I feel, and he's like, it's, it's, you know what I mean? Yo, let's try this. I'm like, all right, let's boom. See, people say don't mess with that Spotify stuff. I see people say it's cool. That ain't even a point. Now I get to this joint while I'm still researching to try to check it out. This is the wildest thing. I came across this guy who's like, he has six different podcasts. I was like, yo, what? He has a podcast for Star Wars. He has a podcast for comic books. He has a podcast, podcast to do movie reviews. He has a podcast to talk about politics. He has a podcast to talk about, I don't, you know, but it's six individual joints. Three of them got co-stars. Like, I literally sat there and went to these joints. I'm like, yo, this dude is wild. And I say all that to say, earlier this week, I ended up uh, coming across this chick who was usually about comic book stuff. It's usually comic book stuff, boom, boom, boom. And with all the stuff that's going on around the world, she started getting a little more active. Like, yo, I can't believe that this happened to so-and-so. I can't believe that this is happening here and here. Hey, did you hear about what's going on there and there? And she said people are upset. That she, they like, yo, we don't like it when you switch up, like stick to the comic book and, and anime stuff. And she was like, yo, this is my page. I do what I want to do. And I thought that was dope. Then I saw another chick who was like my man with the six podcast. She's like, yeah. And if you just want to hear this kind of content, you can go over there. And I just thought to myself, that's just way too much energy. Why? And I know how that can be, man, because I do that with this joint. That's the black history moment. Then there's moments where I do this right here. I just talk about a bunch of random stuff. Then I then I put you into the segment. Then there's times where it ain't even a segment about black history. I'm just talking about a topic. And I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, and sometimes, look, the hip-hop topic about, um, I forgot, it's like two hip-hop topics have done really well, crazily well. I can tell you that. That didn't make me go, yo, you know what? I'm going to push black history to the side and start bringing up this. Nah, that's not even the point. The point is, this is black history joy. We do it. We pop off with it. And when there's other stuff that I'm interested in, I talk about it. But the black history joy did good. The two hip-hop joints did good. The Jeffrey Dahmer joy did good. I mean, as far as, like, the black history moment stuff. They did great. And I'm just like, yo, it's dope that people was checking them joints out. But what I'm not going to do is just go, and if you want to hear more of this, go there. Like, I don't have that kind of time. You know how frustrated it is to get to this and do this? Like, I do the show. Then I got to, like, do this. I'm still looking for music. I'm still trying to create stuff. I'm still looking up news. I'm still occupied, zoned out, I'm still doing my history due diligence, you know what I mean, I'm still out here still trying to find stuff to throw to the people, cause that's what y'all are, y'all the peoples, man, y'all got y'all, yo, salute to y'all who listen all across the world, man, all across the world, I love y'all, you know what I'm saying, I still got music that I post, like little mixes that I post on Sundays, on my Sunday soul session, I still got stuff, I'm still making music here and there, so it's like, yo, my, 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 my plate is full. So to go, yo, damn, let's make a whole new podcast. Like, I ain't got time for that, man. I ain't got time for that. And then when I go to my page and, like, post my joint, they be like, hey, do you want to make another? I'm like, nah, I don't want to make another nothing, man. I ain't got time. Would you like to make a video? No, I don't want to make a video. And it didn't even cross my mind to do a video. Ever. Ever. If anything, I just thought to myself, that would be weird. Especially now. Because I got this whole thing with the stuff he knows 
and the, and the sinuses and the allergies and all that. Like, that would be crazy to do. So I'm like, ah, nah, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got that kind of time to do all that. And with that being said, I got some crazy. Look, let me tell y'all something real wild, right? So I, I go to my doctor. We family, right? We cool. We good, right? We, we all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Y'all listen to this much. Y'all, y'all, y'all listen. To, y'all know. I done told y'all a couple of times about the the those. The, 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 go to the joint. They go like, yo, son, you got these polyps or whatever up in your nose. You got a big sack of just whatever up in your nostrils. You might have to go through surgery. I'm like, what? Y'all just gonna give me like some, some medicine? Like, nah, we can give you some. It'll slow it down for a minute. But that's antibiotics and steroids. Ain't nobody out here trying to be steroid up all the time. And I'm thinking to myself, like, little, little, you know what I mean? My private school gets small and my head gonna get big. Like, I'm good. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really trying to be like Jason Kidd, this baby. I ain't trying to be Barry Bonds, big headed. I ain't trying to be Jughead dude. I ain't trying to be that. I'm, I'm good. All right, cool. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I guess I gotta go to the surgery joint. Talk to my doctor, doctor. The doctor, doctor is like, yo. Hopefully that allergy thing work out. Check this out. I also need you because then you're getting into that to the, to the four. Then you jump in. Then you stepping into the world of the four O's. You know what I'm saying? You stepping into the four. You stepping into the fourth decade world. Now that you are in this love light of life, you can either wait it out till it's time to get that checkup. In your colon, or you can get a jump start on it. I'm thinking like jump start. Well, automatically, yeah, jump start. Then I'm, she could tell that I was like that. I was like, ah, what about it? That's right, my doctor's a chick. I don't even know. I just, I just picked the number. I here's the crazy part. I picked my name. I was like, that seems like a cool name. Plop. Ended up being a chick. Don't care. But those doctors are doing. Would I reverse it? Probably not. I keep it the same way. And it doesn't matter anyway. Bam. So she's like, yo, we got three options. You can do it the old school way where it's, they put the joint up in your, up in your, in your butt and look at it and all that. You know what I mean? You can do it this way where you come up in here. We give you a kit. You drop a deuce. Boom, boom, boom. Or you do the colon guard. Where it's at your crib, it's, it's evasive, you know, like privacy, it's at your, you know what I mean? It's, it's your discretion. I jumped on that cold, colon guard. I jumped on it. I was like, yo, I want that. I need that. I want the colon guard. Got the joint in the bill. Looked at how to do it. I looked at it and was like, ooh, this is wild. Like all of a sudden, like all of, like all of a sudden I got stage fright. I was like, I don't think I can do this. This looks crazy. This looks wild. Plus side, my nose is stuffy. It wouldn't matter anyway. So, for those who don't know how this go, let me give y'all the layout for how this colon guard thing work. You crack open the box, put all the joints out. There's this one little white thing, right? It, it, it unfolds. That's what you put, you lift your seat, your, your toilet seat up, you put that on, you clap, you pull the seat down, boom, you put your little, little, little cup thing in that. You sit down. You drop your dose. I don't know if you're supposed to do more than one or what. Once I dropped the first one, I was like, boom, I moved that out the way and finished going. Because I don't think everybody just out here dropping one dose and they call it a day. Like, yeah, that was it. I'm done. So that ain't, you know, whatever. You do that, boom. There's this, there's this little tube, right? You crack open the tube. You They got this little ridges, ridges on it. You, you scrape your little dookie. Boom, you get that on the tube. You close that back up. Wow. This is liquid. Pour the liquid in the thing. You pour the liquid in the thing after you scrape it. So don't be out here doing it beforehand. I, I got to figure the rules. The, they tell you the rules. I'm just telling y'all. I'm letting y'all know just in case y'all ain't ever had this joint, right? So you do that. Boom. You pour the liquid. You put the tab back on. You put the joints back in the box. No, I'm lying. You don't put the joints back in the box. I forgot about that. Okay, you got to ask. There's this, there's this other piece of paper with the labels on it. You got to put your name date of birth, the time you did it, the date that you did it, and the time you did it. Boom, boom. Now you put one sticker on the tube, you put one sticker on the on the cup joint. Now you put it back in the box. You put it back in the box. You peel the first, you peel your address label, there's the real sit-back label. 
it is what it is. Simple as that, right? It's simple to do. Here's the wild part. We do that. All that's done. They're like, yo, you can either sit it out on a box and let the mailman get it, or you can take it to UPS. Took it to UPS. I walk up into UPS. There's these two white chicks, two young white girls. They just sit me. This is how this is how smooth UPS is as a job, apparently. I don't know how much they pay, but I swear to God, if they pay like $25 an hour to just sit there, everybody needs to get a job at the UPS. But these two chicks were just sitting on the counter, just, just butt cheek on the counter with the leg, and the other leg is like dangling, you know, they, you know that, that joint, man. You're sitting there, you like when the cops be interrogating somebody, they sit on the desk, that joint. They just sitting there and talk about who, you know, who knows, whatever. Oh my God, I can't believe that, you know, whatever they're talking about. I get in, they see the, they see the box. They both pull out a bag. And it's more or less like the one the chick closest to the to the weight thing, she's to the, the scale. She's like, yo, put it in here. Put it in. She closes it. I'm like, yo, do the box stink? I get back in the ride. I'm like, yo, do the box stink? Nah, okay, I'm just saying it. But it's doo-doo. I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right. It's doo-doo. You know what I'm saying? Making me feel weird. Because I'm like, yo, y'all, y'all like, uh, we put it in the bag. Which is also, by the way, safe. Don't even get it twisted. Because here's the wild part. After I did all that, I come to the crib. I look up everything. And then somebody goes, this is what happens when you do that. And it was just boxes, random, just boxes. Dudes was just touching on boxes, putting them in the truck. I'm like, ah, I see them chicks was like, yo, put this in a bag. So they say somebody else comes and takes them out the bag and puts it in the truck. Like, no gloves. Like, yo, like, it's different when it's your body. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Like, yo, that's my body. I'm going to wash my hands and keep it moving. But, yeah, you know I mean? like, my very first job of all time was a maintenance guy. Truck and fork, Brookridge Apartments. Newport News, Virginia. One of the crazy, my, I think my second week, my second week, my first alone job was the shovel dude. It was because they, because the way those apartments were built, were made, it was like six apartments. Or each quarter, there's these cottage joints, little one bedroom joints. Then there's four, two to two. Two or three bedroom joints with the upstairs. The little cottage joints and then the four in the middle on the like upstairs joint. What are these joints? I forgot the road. I forgot the street. I, I forgot all that. Somebody circle. Something. Anyway. Go up in there. It's dookie everywhere. They're like, yeah, just take these box. Take these things. Take this lime and just pour it around and let it get hard and, and absorb it and then shovel it and then just put it. Take it here. Then you from there, you take it in. So I got the boots on. I got the da da da. One of the older guys who was already there, he came out. He's like, yo, Gabe ain't supposed to be doing that. So they supposed to call somebody for that. That's a, like that's not even a plumbing issue at this point. This is a health hazard. Like this is a lot of doodle. Like look at all this, man. Like the whole floor, the whole spot was dookied out. I see. Look, here's the wild part. Me and another dude clean that joint up. It's clean as far as as far as the dookie you know, and all that go. Dude, put the stuff down. Scrub the guy. Somebody else came in, mopped it, buffered it. Somebody else came in and blah blah blah. About six months later, somebody moved in there, and I just thought to myself like, yo, that's nasty. That was the doodoo house. That was the doodoo house. Y'all live in there. Fighting people in, got the families coming through. Like, yo, this is what bedroom joint. So it was like somebody who was by themselves. But it's just inviting people in. It's just like, yo, that's wild. That's the Dookie house. Nah, man. Ugh. Got the kid. Somebody had like a grandkid or somebody just hanging out, crawling on the floor, laid out, playing with stuff, and putting it in their mouth. Like, ah, at least don't be doodle. Like all they did was buff the floor. They switch out the floor. They switched out the toilet. They switch out the floor. They switch out the tub. They switch out. You know what I'm saying? Like the tub was still the tub. The tub still had the doodle in it. The only thing they switched out was the toilet. And I didn't even know places did that. Like, like yo, yeah, get them a new toilet. Like, get them a, what? 
that is dope. Do apartments can do like when, when somebody leaves, they're like, yo, that's unsanitary to just like keep the same toilet. Here's a whole new toilet for you. Like, what? That's dope. But knowing that that kid had doodle, like, was out here putting the toy in his mouth and they had doodle on that floor like six months prior, just still threw me off. Like, yo, ah, that's nasty. That little kid nasty. But it is what it is. That's, that's how I feel when I come up. So I felt them on that. I felt them, them shorties like, yo, uh, that's your box. Put this in a bag, dog. Uh, tie this up. Crazy, though. Crazy. But that's what we do, man. That's, that's, I keep it a buck, man. I keep it a buck with y'all. I just gave y'all a colon guard. Get down 101. It wasn't evasive now. It's, it's, it feels weird, though. It feels weird because, like, you got to adjust yourself to, like, make sure you're, 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 you're over the over the cup thing. You know what I mean? Last thing you want to do is pop, pop anywhere else. And they're like, yo, it's okay. And I'm like, no, it's really not. It's okay because... Y'all are the ones who gotta touch this. Cause then they show the joint where it's a basically it's a, a machine that does that opens up the lids and all that and, and, and all that. It's a machine. So yeah, it's okay if it happens because it's not you. You doodle it on the cup, then you gotta wipe that off because you like, yo, uh, that's nasty. Who wants to hold this? I ain't wanna hold this in the beginning. Crazy, man. How do we, ugh, ugh, is how I felt. I just was like, ugh. But it is what it is. Football has started this week. My Eagles won, boom. The Chiefs lost. I'm out here in Cincinnati. The Bagels lost. The Bagels lost the same day the Reds lost. And so people were extra depressed. I ain't care, man. Eagles won. I'm good, B. I don't care. Cowboys look under, look. All the Cowboy fans was gangster Monday. You see what we did? You see how we get you down? Those who are cowboy haters are like, yo, oh, man. I'm like, dude, dude, don't let him have this. Let him have this. The cowboys don't pass the first round in the playoffs anyway. Let them enjoy this, man. Let them, let them get that off. This is, plus, it was, the, it was the Giants. Let them get that off. Let them, don't huff up. Yeah, salute, salute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, y'all was, y'all was official. Dude, they ain't gonna pass the first round. They definitely ain't making it to the Super Bowl. Be all right. Let him get that off. This, this is as good as it's going to get all year. They're not going to beat no other team like that for the rest of the year. Let them have this. Clap for them. Clap for them. You know what I mean? And that's what we do. You just let that go, man. Evan Rogers, the best around, and got knocked out for the whole year. Or like, yo, they showed that joint. Oh, man. Yo. Stay in Green Bay. Oh, I'm retired. Like, you coming, you ain't coming back next year, B. Like, like, yo, you out. Like, got that money, got that new city. You out here living out there. New York in it. Tri State in it. Enjoy it, man. Get in a couple of movies where you just gotta sit in the chair for most of the time. Be in a couple of episodes or something. But yo, football first week was alright, man. The, um, the Chiefs, not the Chiefs, the Eagles and, the, and Minnesota play Thursday. Ooh, we we can go two and zero. Oh. I think that's messed up though. I think if I think you need to have a week off and then play Thursday. Don't play Sunday and then play Thursday. Like, and I get it. This is week one. Somebody had to bite that bullet. But I'm saying, yo, that's crazy. Why? Like, yo, and they talk about yo, then we want to would have had an extra day. Like, at this point, y'all just a regular sports joint at this time. Like, yo, what's talking about? Go ahead with that. Anyway, man, let's get into what we do, man. Thank y'all for rocking. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I know I'm about to just say it like it's a regular old thing. Thank y'all for rocking with me. No, no, no. Thank y'all for rocking with me. After watching that podcast thing and all these old people talking about, man, I got six podcasts. I remember that stuff, and then I see people... Who, who do this thing and then they're like, yo, if you really want to get a greater audience, you got to do this and you got to spend this money and you got to talk this talk and you got to do all this. I haven't done any of that. I I, um, I posted a thing uh, about a couple of months ago about all the countries that I, um, from that said that it says that all the countries that listen. So again, I thank people around the world for rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
countries, B. Like, Ireland is always official. India, Germany, Russia. Russia. I don't even know what's jumping off in Russia. Salute the Russia. Thank y'all, Russia. Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? France. Switzerland. Word up. Like, yo, it's dope to see these joints, man. It's dope to see this out here, man. Ghana. The Congo. You know what I'm saying? South Africa. All these places out here rocking Egypt. Salute, man. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Like I said, like like I said, that one dude, the Avatar. And I'm in 27 in the country. I think I'm in like 30? So those, should I put an infomercial out? I got like 30. I got like countries I don't even, I think I can pronounce. Salute. Thank y'all for listening, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, it's always like male women and all listening. My male women thing is it's starting to even out a little bit. The non-binary, I it actually has like a nice number to it. I don't even know if that people are really going, I'm non-binary, click, click. But they just like, uh, whatever, pick something to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do sometimes. I don't even do stuff like it. Would you like, no. Would you like, nope. Gender, race, no, no. Yeah. Just know that you list somebody is checking y'all out. That's all. Y'all, y'all know where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, cool, 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 good. You know, then I had a homie tell me, yo, what if they use the VPN? It could be up the street, but then, you know, I'm like, your word. Does it matter? I ain't listening. And it makes you, it's just, you know, when you go worldwide, it just makes you seem like you're not really worldwide. I don't care. They're listening. Somebody's listening. People are listening, so salute to the people listening. I ain't got time to worry about that. But, you know, if that is what's going on, still, thank y'all. Because the way I still rock it is, East Coast, West Coast, Worldwide, Lost Boys. I'm rocking with y'all, man. Thank y'all. For real. Anyway, let's get ready to get into this joint. And we're going to do what we do. I'm going to tell y'all now, it's a lot of talking smack before you can get to the actual Black History moment on this joint. Well, let's have fun with this. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Please do your research on this right here. You know what I mean? Thank y'all for listening. Let's go. Yes, 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 hey, 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 I remember that joint, when you, like, wasn't the word, was it used to be a UPS worker, Horace Brown, one for the money, two for the show, hey, boy, that, whoever came up with that, they should have gotten an award for, like, being a genius, if that was, like, that was, yo, see, that was, the, that was around the time I was really, like, hearing stuff like that made me really go, Man, I hate Montel Jordan. Cause that was like the most wildest little Montel Jordan type knockoff joint. I was just like, yo, see, this is why I can't, yo, what in the, there's no thought into this song right here. This is purely just like, yo, what was you thinking? No, man, no, nah, stop. Anyway, before I get go any further, I gotta say this cause it's, it's real talk right here. This is how we do, y'all know how we do, man. We keep it real, we keep it up, we keep it authentic in the hood. I ain't, I ain't been to the hood, so, hey, <laughs> I feel like Dave, remember that episode when they did the wife swap? And Dave Chappelle was like, yo, the little kid was like, G, 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 you man? And he was like, did you get to the car? And he dropped him off in the hood. <laughs> Hey, like, I ain't been here in the years, B. That's how I feel when I be in the hood. I just be like, yo. I don't feel uncomfortable. I just know, like, I'm not adapted to this anymore. This ain't this ain't it. Like, you just, like if you if you ain't never been to the hood in a while, and then you go, it smells different. Like, it smells different. Like, it's just like, yo, you smell all kind of stuff. And, like, it's uniquely smell stuff, too. You're like, yo, I can smell the drugs. I can smell the hot, nasty sex. I can smell the tension in the air between baby mamas and baby daddies. You know what I'm saying? I can I can smell the ignorance of the little kids. I can you can smell it. You know what I'm saying? You can smell it. everything, like everything. You can smell all of it. You can just ah, you see you see a little different. You be watching joints. You be like yo. Ah, like when you when you around it and, and you adapt it to it and you're used to it, it's the regular day. You know what I'm saying? Gunshots pop. You, you kind of duck a little bit. You're like, eh. man, you go to the hood there with some gunshots pop off. You on the ground, crying, peeing on yourself. Like, hello, they about to shoot. Like, yo, I thought you was from here. It's been years. I ain't, yo, I ain't got, come on, man. We got money. What you talking about? You got to get up out of here. <laughs> ain't no hate out here. 
here no more. What? Ain't no hanging out. Yo, that was used to be the stupidest thing when we was in high school, too. We, like, go to other hoods. Like, yo, yo, you want to go to so-and-so and then, and then check out their hood? Like, why would I? You know what I'm Then you get older, you know, you be like, yo, that is the dumbest thing that we would just go to other run-down areas and be like, yeah, man, this is me in the crib. Like, nah, I want to go to some place luxurious. I'm going to be like, yo, you know what I mean? I, don't, you know, I used to have a homie that used to be like, yo, if I go to Jamaica, I'm going to go outside of the resort and be amongst the people. I'm good. If I can afford this trip to Jamaica, I'm going to live like I can afford this trip to Jamaica. I don't want to be amongst nobody broke. Like, nah, I don't want I don't want nobody to get any idea that I'm fooled. Like, you don't look like I belong here, boy. Nope. I don't even know why I'm here, man. I'm obviously going to roll turn. I'm out. Gone. Now, I don't even want the, I don't even want the, 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 um, the workers to look at me. Like, I, I want, like, yo, I'll be like, yo, no, 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 no. I want all the dudes and the chicks who, who respond to my room to be somewhat middle class. I don't no, 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 no. I, I give me background checks. Let me Google addresses. I don't want no, nobody to think that I'm fool. Nah, B. No, not at all. No. This is how I go. But anyway, I don't even know. I just, just being like, it's one of them things like my kid's 17 now. Never been to the hood. And he just be, and he, and you could tell that he do unhood stuff. He walk around with the chain out no matter what. Just got the chain in his mouth. Like, you know what I mean? Like baseball players when they when they up the bat and they and they swing and they miss. And then they walk off and they tap and they shoot with the bat. And then they put the chain in their mouth and let it drop back down. And they get in their stands and they, you know what I mean? Like, nah, dude, tuck that in. Tuck that in. You gotta tuck that in like red for Friday. Tuck that joint in, son, because somebody go, you know what I mean? Like, yo, sometimes I gotta sit him down and I'm like, yo, look at Friday. That's why I tell you tuck your chain in. You don't wanna end up like that. Look at his eye. Look at his eye. I ain't gonna come out there and save you. I ain't saving you. He be like, ooh, they thought you was fool. Uh, he just pull his money out in public, like, whopping on him. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, like, what did you smack the joint on the floor? What did you doing? What you doing? Look at all these people. What is wrong with you, man? From the hood. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, yo, you can't do that. What is wrong? They don't look dangerous. It don't even matter. Man, like, yeah, I know these are suburban white people, but they they got a different kind of mentality. Like, one of these people might be on that meth stuff or something. One of these, oh, my God. And then, you know what I mean? Put the money down, man. Put the money. Put, put it in your pocket, man. Use a card out here just flashing cash and stuff like that what's wrong with you you know what I mean but anyway what I was gonna say before I got into all that cause we still got that black history moment joint salute to all these people who have this stupid job and that's what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's a stupid job if your job is to go shopping on behalf of other people you have the dumbest job in the world I'm sorry I don't care how much they pay you I don't you can, you can tell me you eating off of this like yo man I make like Two stacks a day. I don't care. That's still the most dumbest job in the world. You shopping for other people. You have to literally decide. Like, what if you come across that one joint? You're like, oh, they ain't got that. What do you? What do you? Like, how does that work? Executive decision, and you get them the next flavor. Get them a substitute. Like the product, the opposite product. Like, yo, they didn't have any Pringles, so I got you stacks. Like, nah, dude. What is stacks? Nah. I want Pringles. I put Pringles in my joint. But you came up in here with some specs. What is that? Nah, you eat that. And then nah, you get a bad review. Nah, you eat specs. I ain't never heard of that. It's the joints right beside Pringles when you in the store. I ain't been in the store in years. I've been doing this forever now. It's since the pandemic. I ain't been in the store since the pandemic. I don't even know what a store look like. Go, you better go get my Pringles. You should have went to another store. Like, dog, I, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, shop around, homie. That's how we do. But anyway, it's a wild job. That's the kind of job that, like, after you do it for a week, you should call your parents, call your guardians, call anybody that's, that's, a, that's a paternal figure in your life and go, I'm sorry, I love you. Because <laughs> we all been there as kids. We all been there as kids. Hey, go to the store for me. Like, oh my 
God. You go into the store, man, like, I don't even know, act, you acting like you can't go nowhere. You just came in the house for work. Why you didn't get that joint while you was out? I hate you, man. I hate you so much right now. Your friends, hey, you want, nah, I got to go to the store for my mama. I ain't, man. And then you got the cool ones that'll come with you, like, yo, I'll roll with you. And then you got the cool ones who'll roll with you and then want you to do other stuff, too. Hey, tell your mama they ain't had this and then just get us some of this. You must want me to die. Like, what is wrong with you? I ain't messing with my mama money. What's wrong with you, man? I'ma steal it there. You steal it over there. Cause I ain't gonna get a, I ain't gonna get had the police drop me off either with the bag and the stuff I came with. And be like, hey, then he was with this dude up in the car, stealing. You had and then that's that's when your mama do that stupid stuff. You had money, cause the last thing, especially when you from around the way the hood, last thing anybody wants to be is looked at as broke. <laughs> you had money in your hand. I had enough to buy the stuff you said to buy. You had money. Oh no, you didn't play me like this, mama. You know what I'm saying? And the oil, cause like when you grow up in the hood, they, back in the day there was no joints, man. We couldn't do that. Like if your mom, like your mama sent you just to the store, people send you to the store like, hey yo, and get this, this, and this in the third. They ain't got that one joint. You come back. So when, and then it's crazy because the one thing that they don't have is the one thing she was wanting the most. So so you ain't got no 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 you ain't, you ain't had no, you ain't had no cookies. They ain't had the cookies you wanted. They had no cookies. They ain't had the cookies you wanted, but they had cookies. Yeah, why you didn't just give me something? I can do that? I wanted cookies. I said, hey, give me some cookies. Ah, 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 my bad. Next time you do it, they ain't got the cookies. You get us something. What is this? I don't need this. What is this? Oh, no, you got your flavor kind of cookie. That's what this was. This is the stuff that you smash out on. You thought, no, no, no. Matter of fact, and nobody gets these cookies. Then they just put them up in the shelf. You go back and check that joint. Months later, it's all colored, under colored all up in the, in the package. You're like, that's a waste of money. It's a waste of my money. You got them cookies that you knew ain't nobody eat. Don't nobody eat them nasty cookies. Wrong with you. I, you bet you learn next time. See, that's why you got to thank these people. Like, like thank your people because they prepared you for this stupid stuff that now is your job to, to. And these aren't your people who love you, so they just out here looking at you like you crazy and giving you bad reviews like this fool keep getting me to run. Why do y'all keep sending this same dude? Y'all need to bring a new person in this area. I don't think dude can read anyway. And then you all mad and stuff. You go up here like, yo, I wanted the so-and-so noodles. What is this, great value noodles? It was cheaper. I was saving you money. Nah, dog, I ain't want cheaper. I wanted quality noodles. If I wanted cheap, I would have got everything cheap on my joint. Why you gonna give me the generic noodles? And you're like, ah, man, I ain't man. What you want me to take these back? Nah, I guess I gotta cook them now. You know what I mean? Just, then yeah, that's your job. That's your job to go shopping for other people. You shop for yourself and then you shop for other people you don't know. And then it's like, what if they get personal? Like, and I want you to buy me some underwear this size. <laughs> like, what? Buy you underwear? Hey, yo, check this out. I'ma need you to get me some um, ointments. I got jockage. Like, what? Like, yo. Could you imagine that? Like, yo. Get like, they get you like certain kind of medicines and stuff. Just medicines you know, stuff is wrong. And you pull up on them and then it's, and it's a banging broad. And he's like, yo, she look good. But then you remember, she got that itch. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Something ain't right down there. I'm good. Hey, thank you. Hey, um, maybe you should get my nah, nah, nah. Maybe you should just get checked out. You got a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of nasty medicine, man. Like, yo, stop trying to use home ointments over the counter joints. Go to the doctor, yo. Go see somebody. You, you nasty, yo. <laughs> hey, man, for real. Be watching it like, yo, shopping to get their generic stuff. Like, everything they got is generic. Generic toothpaste, generic mouthwash, generic like cleaning products. You're just like, yo. And then you like, but you got a nice house and a nice car. That's why. Then you go to the hood and they got all the name brand stuff and it's like triple the prices that they paid. And you're like, yo, this is mine, but I don't want no generic stuff in my house. Crazy. Anyway. This is what we doing, man. This is how we get down. My bad. I started. I started ranting on because I saw that the like today, and the dude was and I like, was looking at the dude. The dude was like, "Yeah, I'm shopping for somebody on Instacart." Like, yo, that is wild. Like to shop for another person. I can't even shop for my family. 
You know what I'm saying? I gotta like, I gotta like show pictures on the phone and send it like, you want these? <laughs> Yo, and you doing this for total strangers? Nah, I'm good, man. Anyway, let's get into what we do. <clears throat> take it from the top. We gonna take it from the top. This moment in black history. And you don't stop, and it don't stop. Keep on, uh, woo, hey, hey. Anyway, this, since it's still the beginning of school, cause y'all know Spanish history is this much, so I'm kinda like trying to do educational stuff before we get into all that Spanish stuff. All that, oh, you know what I'm saying? All that hispanic -y stuff. You get, to, get your green game on like that. But yo, what we gonna talk about right now is the first university first university and I messed up that fast and and totally forgot how to pronounce this joint just that quick Al University of Al Quarian I'm probably butchering that Q A R Q A O oh, I said Q A R A W I double Y I N out there in Morocco out there in Fez, this joint has been around forever. When I say forever, we talking forever. 857, not 18, 8. 857. This joint has been around forever. It, at first, it was established as a mosque, then it transformed into a university. The scholars consider this to be the first known university in the world one of the first if not the first definitely the first that they claim this because you know how they go when they want to they want to like somehow um exclude Ag alexandria so as far as ad goes this is the first one in the ad time you know what i'm saying so of the ninth century and it's all dope you know what i'm saying this is this is crazy the, the scholars suggested that like the teachers and the instruction started out as nothing more than an islamic temple and then it started to form itself as a university becoming more about teachings and all that's the alchemies and all this and that and then that and third you know what i'm saying the chemist and those who became philosophers the grammar they started teaching mathematics and astronomy this is like yo and this is all all of this is happening within the 13th and the 14th century you know what i'm saying they're going yo the people started and the people were going like when i say people i mean the europeans found themselves what was known as what are known as europeans found themselves migrating to get that higher education from there the same way the romans and the greeks used to go to egypt and stuff like that to get their education so they get their education they learn up they they pop off they get it jumping and all this right there, it is just dope, dope, dope. Back then, all the students were male, of course, that's, that was the time frame back then, you know what I mean? But as time goes on and, and the sciences and everything like that happens, by 1788, they have to go through a remodel change and all this and all that in the third. You know what I'm saying? And, and people, and now I guess like in this way, it's changing hands. It's going, um, like Fez is going through stuff. The city of Fez is going through some things. So the university is on a decline. And what happens then is it needs to get into its thing. 20th century comes, it becomes a whole new thing. And it becomes a state university. You know what I'm saying? 1912, it becomes a situation where, like, yo, this, is, this isn't getting better. What are we doing? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? And in 1930s, that's when they go, yo, this is now going to be an actual school, university, university. We, we're not going to just let it be about the religion, but we're going to turn this into a, a actual all's welcome fraternity. And still, we still got that Islamic stuff to it, but it's going to be more than that now. It's not just going to be all about just a closed off joint. If you ain't about this religion and this lifestyle, you might not get down with this. Now everybody's invited because, you know what I'm saying, the money needed. Let's keep it fun. Need that paper, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. But anyway, that's that joint. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name again <laughs> at all. You know what I'm saying? But this is what we do, man. This is how we get down. This is that black history moment. Salute. 
Like I said, next couple of days, couple of choice right before. I guess there's only one more, right? Might be by time the next show jumps. Hispanic Heritage joint will be in a full flex, so we probably got one more educational moment. Who knows what it'll be about? I don't know what it's gonna be about, but it's gonna be dope. Then we gonna get into the Hispanics joint on Saturday. Let y'all already know a whole week ahead of time. The universe of soul moments is gonna be all Spanish music. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that, that Cuban joint, the Brazilian joint. You know what I'm saying? South America. You know what I'm saying? Some Mexico hip hop soul or whatever, whatever. I, you know what I'm saying? Puerto Rico is American, so we ain't gonna get into all that. Spaniards over there, Spain, Argentinian music. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna, y'all know how we do it. It's jazz, RB, soul, funk. Just bang y'all in the head with a lot of just dope, dope. You know what I mean? This is what we do. And the crazy part is if I could do American music, if I chose to do American music, which one day I might just do it. Salute the bad boy G and that Chicano soul stuff that they, they be rocking out with. The soldies, you know what I'm saying, on Sundays and the other artists that, yo, yo, he put me on, him and Lisa Lisa, indirectly, indirectly put me on to a lot of joints. When you be listening to them at night, they, they got that heat, you know what I mean? So salute to them. One of these times, like during the Hispanic month, we're going to have to get into some of that joint, too. They got joints. Yo, I'm, I'm out here, like, I'm going to band camps and all this, looking and listening. I'm like, I'm going to have to put a little something on this. Boom, let me get this. Let me get that. Let me pop off on this. Let me rock up on that. Dope, dope joints. But that's what we're going to do next week. Um, Let's get back into this music. I'm out here talking too much. My bad, y'all. Let's do what we do. One, two, one, two. This that uh, Monica remix with Biz Marquee. Rest in peace to Biz Marquee. Rest in peace to B.I.G. too. I play a guru. I play some gangsta. Let's get back into what we do. Word up. Yes, that's my time. That's my time. Word up again. Rest in peace to B.I.G. Word. You know how we do. Uh, yeah. Yo, who, who would have thought that them joints would have went together like that? I didn't. I'm just, this is what we do, man, Saturday. We just throw joints out there to see where it go. Sometime it rides, sometime it don't. Sometime I be enjoying myself. Sometime y'all might be sitting in like, yo, this mother, yo, what? What did you, yo, who was this? What did you playing, son? You know what I'm saying? Then there's times where I play some joints. I know y'all be like, yeah, yeah. And I be like, man, let me hurry up and get to the hook on this joint. This is straight, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Monkey doodle, you know what I'm saying? Throw it in their face. Like monkey doodle at the zoo, just tossing that joint and they hit somebody in the face while they eating their glizzy. <laughs> they eat their food and then some monkey doodle hit they hit their joint. It's, it'd be sad if it's a kid too, eating the ice cream cone or something. And then like all of a sudden, like the brown joint just flop over. Bloop. What is this? No. And we talk to the zoo too. Ice cream is like $12. You know what I'm saying? You're like, yo, I could have bought a pint of ice cream, a gallon of ice cream, bought some cones, and still had change. Y'all wanted like $12 for an ice cream cone, and it's just regular ice cream. It ain't even special ice cream. It ain't even like when you go to the ice cream shop and it's good ice cream. It's just regular ice cream, like bland, regular ice cream. Y'all, ah, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all trip and go up in the back. You mess around and see the boxes of Kroger boxes. Y'all giving us vanilla Kroger ice cream. Y'all charging me $12. Kroger's out here selling their whole joints for like two for five. And y'all charging me $12. Woo. Yo, that monkey needs to throw doodle on everybody ice cream. Throw doodle on everybody ice cream over there, monkey. You know what I mean? Come on, Bubbles. Throw that joint. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Hey, yo, did y'all hear the story? I know. I got I to gotta go. I'm just saying. Hold on, ooh, this sound nasty. We gonna speed this up a little bit. I don't like the way that sounds. Um, yeah, there we go. Anyway, what was I about to say? So, if y'all ever watched the joint, uh, Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know why I call him Jerry Springer. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. Jerry Seinfeld has this joint about the cars and coffee, right? The Eddie Murphy episode is wow. It's a longer episode than a lot of them. Because I think it took Eddie Murphy a, t- a little bit to, like, relax and enjoy himself and be comfortable. But it, when he does, it's the greatest interview joint anyway. Anyway, there's a story where he's like, yo, he went to Michael Jackson's house. And Bubbles was, he was like, yo, where Bubbles? And Mike was like, yo, we can't be out here messing with Bubbles. Bubbles, Bubbles is older. He on that joint there. Bubbles is out of his mind a little bit. Bubbles is attacking people now. Bubbles, 
And the wild part is Jam Master J, Run DMC was supposed to do a joint with Michael Jackson and Jam Master J. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back. And Jam Master J was like, yo, I don't want to get down with that monkey, B. He got the monkey in the studio. Jam Master J knew what was up. Rest in peace to Jam Master J. He knew that joint was supposed to be in the jungle somewhere. You out here just got them all on your, on your hip and joints out here. Like, go get go get Emmanuel Lewis. Remember when he, like, because he got bubbles after Emmanuel Lewis. So racist to say that, but I'm just saying. He's like, I kind of like having something in my hand like this. You know what I'm saying? And people won't look at me crazy because it's not a human little boy. Like, nah, people are looking at you crazy regardless, Mike. They're going to look at you crazy regardless, B. Come on, man. Then he had the monkey in the video with him with Just Leave Me Alone. It was like, see? Co-piloted it with you in the, in the train or the plane or whatever that was. <sighs> anyway, I'm up out of here, man. I'm going to holler at y'all Wednesday. You can know how we do, man. Anything from 2013 on back is how we get down. Word up. So I'm going to holler at y'all like, <clears throat> they say you only live once. That's a lie. You only die once. So anytime that your God allows you to get out here and continue your journey, please show the world the best version of you. Y'all be safe. Peace. This is a soul of art presentation. Patient, patient.